beautiful blooms are what you would expect at the best flower show in the world. Next to the palace where the old pensioner soldiers live is the site of the famous Chelsea Flower Show. Yet there was hardly a flower to be seen in one exhibit in the Great Pavilion. Gateshead Council's Window of Opportunity Garden is a mix of unusual water features and edible plants, all watered by pedal power. It was designed by famous husband and wife duo Geraldine and Wayne Hemingway. The concept is, it's all about uh, educating or re-educating re people about where plants, fruit and veg come from, so we've got a vegetable garden, it's about sustainability water harnessing and exercise, a new idea in parks. There's no, re there's no need to go to a park and have swings and slides and roundabouts. You, you go to a park, uh, I think they call them outdoor gyms now, where you can have static bikes that you can generate power to pump water to water a garden. So rather than leaving it to the local authorities to do all the work, communities can, can get together and do it themselves. I think the most important point of the garden is it actually, there's no waste in it. It's going to go back into Gateshead. Um, going to be shown at the Gateshead Flower Show uh, and then it's going to go into the community and hopefully have the benefit and give the message across that it's been giving here at Chelsea and that the message is pretty important, you know, that, um, that getting outside, growing stuff, exercise, uh, the beauty of it is all uh, an important part of life and it, far too often, you know, we forget about the importance of the outdoor spaces in our towns and cities. What it is, is obviously a, a window made out of recycled timber with graffiti on one side or, or carvings by some of the kids from uh, Gateshead College uh, and in front of the media, in front of the window is a derelict piece of land with weeds and grass growing through an old bike, a rusty old bike and then as you look through the window you then at the other side of the derelict timbered window is, is, is ivy planted up around the window and then you look at the two bikes which are being pedalled that create electricity and also give you, you, give you exercise and then obviously then you've got the living wall which is where the seedlings are planted and then a water rill which looks like rain coming down onto the to living wall and then at the back of that living wall is where all the, all the edible bits of the garden are. The garden, produced in partnership with Northumbrian Water, was developed by students. So the last time we saw it was in a lock-up in Saltwell Park, so to go from there to here is pretty impressive, I think. Yeah, it's a little bit surreal having this here in front of us now, in front of all these people. So it's a bit of a hard task, a bit of an accomplishment, I think, for Gateshead. Uh, the wood was chosen by um, children from a school called King's Meadow in Gateshead. Um, they chose the wood. They also wrote the... Uh, the messages that are inscribed on the wood. So our job was just to do the work, to actually etch it in. It proved to be a major attraction, with stars of stage and screen queuing up to have a go on the bikes. I think it is absolutely fantastic. First of all, it's making the world more beautiful. Secondly, we're getting water without having to use electricity or anything. And thirdly, and almost most importantly, it's going to be in places where people can get on the bicycle, get some exercise, have a lovely time, and think they're helping the environment. I think it's brilliant. Our um, previous um, gardens um, here um, have not been anything like this. This is very different, and it's attracting a lot of attention from the public. It also impressed the judges who awarded it a coveted silver medal. I'm absolutely thrilled. It's absolutely amazing to see the garden come to life after being on plans of paper for so many months. The garden will eventually be recreated in a Gateshead communal park for everyone to admire and enjoy.